Welcome, welcome to the kitchen home. Do you know what show this is? I don't. I have so many now. Oh, actually, it's only a big deal when you had like hit the hundred show or the fiftieth show. We'll get there. We'll get there. But for now, today we're going to just see what happens. Kind of like the old shows. We'll see who. Oh, uh, excuse me. There's someone now. Hello, you're on the air. Oh, I certainly didn't mean to come across as negative, Mr. Ferguson. I, I was just merely suggesting that running up a flight of bell tower stairs maybe wasn't the best way to start conquering your fear of heights, that's all. Oh, dear, uh, excuse me, I seem to have listened in on a uh, private conversation there. Our resident psychiatrist, Dr. Bob Hartley. If you're like me, you spent most of your childhood skipping over those black and white films the minute you saw a horse. Now, well, it's not because you don't love animals, but you just can't sit through another three-hour western can do it. Of course, once in a while, things would get interesting, say, when they... No, it never, it uh, never got interesting for me. But, that doesn't mean the Wild West wasn't, uh, wild. Though probably not in the way you'd think. Hi, guys. How's cleaning up the office going? Well, lately my efforts seem to be a bit on the futile side. Oh, yeah? What you, uh, what you cleaning up there? Oh, the usual things. The floor, the walls. Well, the walls wasn't my idea. Oh, yeah, you aren't even the sheriff, are you? No, I'm not the sheriff, thank goodness. Well, uh, is the sheriff there? I don't know, he could be around here somewhere. Let me look outside. No, you don't have to actually leave. You, uh... <coughs> huh. Strangest thing, I can't seem to find that guy any place. I'm in the back if someone needs me. Oh yeah, actually, we need you. Come say hi to Kitch. Well, what's that face for? Oh, nothing. It's just, uh... I just got all the flies out of the house. Well, how'd you manage that? It's amazing what a dish towel and a stern look can do. I wouldn't wonder. Well, listen, you don't have to hang around all day, you know. I've got it pretty much under control. Is that so? Why are your shoes on the wrong feet? Made you look... Lord, Ben. Why do you... Why do you do stuff like that to me? It's infantile. Yeah, well, when you start shaving, sweet cheeks, you can talk to me about immature. Well, that wasn't my fault. Of course it wasn't your fault. You just went up the hill after him and decided it'd be a good idea to try and take him alive. I could have taken him. I had the advantage. If you want to call teetering on the edge of a cliff an advantage, don't even start. You know, you were there with me. And it's a good thing, too. Otherwise, your hair would have been parted on the other side had his brother been up to shoot. But it all worked out. They handed over their weapons after I smoked them out of the cave. I'm not getting into this again. You are so getting into this again. You walked right into it. You walked right into it when you asked me to help you clean this jail. Well, it has to be done, and I thought it would go faster with the two of us. Doesn't everything, doesn't every little thing just... You don't have to be sarcastic. I... <laughs> well, that's how I break things. Now, you show me how you do it. Very funny, I'll get the mop. No, a mop won't work. Excuse me. Forgotten who I was talking to for a minute. Hey, Klutz! What? Are you gonna clean out that filing cabinet? Oh, shoot. I forgot. You forgot? That's because you were chewing your nail for the last half hour. Watching me do all the work. I told you, I was thinking. I have to arrange a posse tonight. You and a posse? You and a posse and you. I, I can't believe this. Why did I ever come into this town? Yeah, it wasn't worth it. It just wasn't worth it. Well, you'll get paid handsomely. For what, being the maid? Well, I told you I had it under control. I don't even remember what we're talking about anymore. I have a beer. You're gonna drink now? We aren't even in the saloon. All right, I'll move the dance hall girls in here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what? Haven't you seen your, who, who was it, Millie? You should, you should go see her. Work some stuff out of your system. That's a little inappropriate. No, what's inappropriate is two grown men spending their Saturday night cleaning out a jail cell. Oh, shoot. No, please, don't remind me. The last time I heard that phrase, I was clutching my foot after you tried to shoot that barrel. Well, I pulled the trigger as hard as I could. Most people would have stopped shooting when they drew blood. Well, I'm sorry, Mork. Does your arm still hurt? No, no, the rock broke my fall. It's like that tree limb the other day. Gosh, I am sorry. I, I didn't mean to, <laughs> well, render you in in inabil inabilitated. Well, that's all right. But next time we're doing shooting practice, we're using your hat. And depending on my teaching patience that day, we might just leave it on your head. No, those don't go there. The rifles don't go in the gun rack? That's a new one. No, those go there. These go here. No, here. You know, you're kind of cute when you get angry. Ah, ah, that's another one to add to my teen angst to English dictionary. You're not really writing a dictionary. Ah, you caught me. Alive, too. I am going to empty the garbage. I never knew you were so passionate about trash. Hmm. And don't put that down in the dictionary. Are, are you making mental notes? Come help me move this. Well, golly gee, Sheriff, do I get to help you move another writing desk? Just help me move this. Why do you make this thing so tall, anyway? Ah, never mind. This isn't fair. You're the only person in this whole town who's tall enough to reach A through D files. Well, we'll get you a stepladder. I am only a hair shorter than you. 
Well, starting at the eyebrows. Boy, this is heavy. You don't say. Whew. You about ready for your afternoon walnut? I eat. That's true. I saw you drink that glass of water a few days ago. You know, it's not good to do that on an empty stomach. It's not good to do a lot of things on an empty stomach. Where is this going? I don't know. Can I have those? What, these? Yeah. The these files here? Yeah. On the chair? Yeah, on the chair. Get them myself. You are so easy. Yeah, well, your humor's just a little bit out there. Out where? Well, for, for starters, you think it's fun to pick on the sheriff. You better stutter when you say that to me, boy. There you go again. Ah, uh, you're getting all uptight. It's too hot around here. Oh, well, the weather's going to cool off. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get that information, Clem? I did, actually. All right, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that the same man who said the weather's got to cool down just because it's been hot? Yeah. Well, call me the next time you put all your irons in the fire. Can you post that new wanted sign? Which one? This one? That doesn't look so new. Oh, jeez, no, he's dead. We uh, shouldn't post that one. Oh, gee, you think that'd slow down the posses a little bit? Searching all night for the wrong man? You, you think they'd be mad? Could you just put up the new face? All right. Hey, wait a minute, I thought you were the new face around here. I'm the new sheriff, that's all. Really? Didn't win any beauty pageants lately? You know, I've had about just as much of all the abuse that I can handle. And, uh, I don't know. I had a point. You'll find hey, it. Hey, hey, c calm down here. Relax. You're, you're too tense. That's your trouble. You know, when I first met you, kid, the only thing loose about you was the, your guns. They were practically down to your knees. I don't know who told you to wear them that way. I didn't. Well, they were the old sheriff's guns. Yeah, well, the old sheriff probably filled them out a bit. You know, you might have been a lot more successful if you would have become sheriff right after Thanksgiving. Well, what is that supposed to mean? You could stand to put on a few pounds. Look a little bit more intimidating. You look like uh, we could save you from drowning if we tossed you a Cheerio. For heaven's sakes, I've got bones and things. Yeah, I know, but when you turn sideways, you disappear. You're exaggerating. Ah, now who does that sound like? Mister, I think I'm dying because I got a scratch on my temple. Could you sweep out the corners now? All right, just stand over there so I don't mistake you for the broom. Well, I uh, think we better let these fellas get back to cleaning here, and, uh, well, and uh, good luck organizing that posse, Ben. Thank you, I, I could use all the help I can get. Sure sounds like it. <clears throat> well, that seems more futile than two bees trying to get into a house. Are you sure this will work? What are you talking about? Of course I'm sure. Are you sure this is what Randy said to do? Okay, listen. There are fresh-cut flowers on the other side of that glass, and I'm not missing out of them because of you, Buzzkill. I don't think I can fit through that tiny crack in the window. Ah, it'll be fine. Come on. You're mostly fluff anyway. Just take it one stripe at a time. You know, come to think of it, I haven't seen Randy in a long time. Is this what you're like in a picnic? 